My name is Lethea Owens, and I'm your personal branding and social media strategist. And today I'm going to teach you how to take your feed from your website and post it onto your Facebook business page so that every time you update your blog, your post automatically gets posted to your Facebook page. So we're going to start by first logging into Facebook, which I've done here. The next thing we're going to do is look for the application that helps us accomplish this task. That application would be RSS Graffiti. Okay, And what we're going to do is take a look at RSS Graffiti. You'll notice that under your profile, it has my name. Now you may see something in this area over here that says you need to authorize or give permission to RSS Graffiti to access your account. If that, if you see that, go ahead and go through the process of clicking through the buttons to fully authorize and acts and authorize and give permission for the account that you're using. My account has already been authorized, so we don't see that message. Once you've authorized your profile on Facebook uh, to use RSS Graffiti, the next step that you want to do is make sure that you're accessing your business page or your fan page. So I'm going to collect or click on one of my business pages and you'll see that the application has not uh, been added yet for this particular page. Now mind you, I've already authorized RSS Graffiti to access my Lethea Owens profile which is pretty much the admin on all of my business pages. So I click on my business page that I want to add RSS Graffiti to and now I see that I must add RSS Graffiti to the fan page. And that is required in order for RSS Graffiti to make updates to that particular page. So you'll see that the authorization is completed, but I need to add the RSS Graffiti. I'm down here now. You'll see that I need to add RSS Graffiti to the fan page, and I need to allow them or give them permission to publish to the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button to add RSS Graffiti to the fan page and just go through the steps that it brings to you to actually add the application. The next step is that they're missing permissions. So I click on click to authorize and now you'll notice as I'm allowing or authorizing RSS Graffiti to make posts on my wall you'll see that my status now says it's configured. Now all I have to do is actually configure the feed of information that I want to add to my business page. Now if you're not really familiar with what an RSS feed is, an RSS feed is nothing more than a bucket. A bucket that is used to basically monitor new updates to a particular website. So if we, for example, go to one of my websites called A Tool A Day, and let's say since I'm getting ready to start more regularly promoting this particular uh, blog and actually making updates to this blog, we'll go and try to find the RSS feed for this blog because every time I make an update, I want it to automatically appear on my Facebook business page. So one thing that you're going to look for is you're going to look for a little icon that's similar to the one that I'm pointing to right here. Now on your computer it may be, I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a PC it may be somewhere in your menu bar area. But basically you're looking for an RSS feed button. If I click on that button, it tells me or shows me what my feed is up in the URL area and I can copy that. And it also gives me an opportunity to preview the various blog posts that have been made as a result of this particular blog site. Now that I have my RSS feed, I'm going to go back over to Facebook and I'm going to add this feed to my RSS Graffiti application. So I click on Add Feed and the first thing I want to do is actually paste in my feed name. Now I will tell you that sometimes you will have difficulty if your feed starts off with the word feed and oftentimes RSS Graffiti or other applications will want you to change that to HTTP. So I'm going to go ahead and change that right now. The source name, you can enter a source for this particular uh, feed and I'm just going to call it a tool a day by Lethia Owens. The source URL, it will pull it from the actual feed name, so you can leave that blank. 
Okay. The other thing that we're going to do is leave the style set to standard. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to transform the feed. And what I want to do is add a prefix. And it's basically any text you want to add in front of the title of the new blog post. So since this is coming from my blog called A Tool A Day, I'm going to say here is the latest tool. Semicolon and I'm going to add a space. So in front of every update that gets pushed to my Facebook business page from that blog site, in the beginning of the title, it's going to say, here is the latest tool. And um, beyond that, you don't really have to change anything else. You can leave everything else pretty much the same. Now you'll notice that it gives you an example immediately after it recognized the feed, it gives us an example of what it's going to look like. And I still need to add an image to this Facebook business page. I'm using this as an example for you so that the, that's why you don't see an actual image there. But this is the information that came from, here's the information that came from the RSS feed. So it says, here is the latest tool, the best project management and team collaboration tool moving from Basecamp to Active Collab. So you can refresh it, you can scroll through and see the various, um, how the various items or entries on that blog will actually show up on your Facebook business page so, you, so that you can see it. So that's pretty cool. And once you're done, you just click the save button. So we click save and we're all done. We want to make sure that our blog RSS feed is set to on in RSS graffiti. You can turn off publishing at a feed level because you can have multiple feeds. I can add another feed or I can turn it off at the page level. So if you want to pull in content automatically from your blog or another very interesting blog related to your niche or your industry, you can certainly do that using this wonderful tool called RSS Graffiti. This is Lethea Owens, your personal branding and social media marketing strategist. If you have questions that you'd like answered, I invite you to visit my Facebook page and post your question there. You can find me online at Facebook on or at facebook.com forward slash personal branding strategist. Make it a great day and I hope to hear from you soon.